Hey guys, welcome back to Five Minutes with the Technician. My name's Daniel. So today we are in front of a Kalux. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to mill this table down. So for starters, let's talk about tooling. So we've got our diamond Weha pads. So these are meant for milling this table. So if you don't have these, uh, 10X sells them. You can probably get them from Grand Courts or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and slap these on the machine. So what we need to do is we need to trace this table out as if it was a slab. Okay, so let's go over to the screen and I'm going to grab the remote wherever it may be. Ah. Okay. So the remote is super handy for this. If you don't have one, I recommend that you get one. Um, so come on over to the screen. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and draw our slab. So we're going to use the pencil. So click on the pencil. It says program selection. We're going to select new. So we'll go to new. And from here, it says single. Click on that. We're going to go piece one, OK, because we're drawing the piece. And we're going to put it as an irregular shape. So I clicked I slash R. And uh, now we can go ahead and start plotting our points. We're going to go ahead and turn the laser on. That's this one on the bottom left here. So boom, there's our laser. Let's go out to the machine. So this is why the remote's really handy, is because I can trace this whole thing from the remote. So to turn the remote on, we're going to go ahead and click the start button. That turns it on. Now, as you can see, we've got our laser here. So for this remote, I'm going to go ahead and go to the left. So if I want to give it a little gas, give it a little gas, it'll go a little bit faster. So we're just cranking the remote to the side as if it was like a throttle. And we're going to bring our laser up to this corner. And there we go. That's about as close as we can get to that edge, but that's fine because we're going to have some overlap anyways. So to mark this as piece one, I'm going to hit the bottom left button on my remote. So boom, that captures that point. Now I'm going to go to the next point, the bottom right. Boom. And now we'll go to our next point. For me, I like to go clockwise. That's just a habit. I've heard some people like to go counterclockwise. I don't think it really, really matters. But, um, you know, whatever floats your boat. So there's our second point. Boom, captured that point. And we're on to the next one. Third. All right, third point, captured it, onto the next one, and we'll get our last point, and that'll be that. So just for reference, when I'm saying point, I'm just capturing the corner with that laser. There we go. That'll do it. So there is our fourth and final point. So I'm capturing it. And I'll go to the next one. So as you can see on the screen here, we've started to draw this shape out. So we have these green lines. So to close it, we're going to hit the check mark. Boom. Now we have one piece. So that's our table. We're done now. So we can go home. And now we have piece one ready to go. All right. So what you want to do before you start milling the table is increase the overlap around the edges. Otherwise, you'll miss the corners. And um, it won't be like done when it's all done. So if you come down here and you hit the one with the little finger and the paper, click on that. And then uh, on here on the left, you have out perimeter grinder. Okay, out perimeter grinder. That's what you're going to set. So for that one, for milling the table, I would set it to like six, maybe like six inches. That'll give you six inches of overlap. So that means that head is going to be hanging off the table about six inches. And that's fine. Uh, when you're milling the table, that's totally fine. So I would do that and then go ahead and uh, start your program up. As long as you have your parameters all set. So like here, this one is actually, uh, let me go back, negative 0.1. So we had, okay, it's going to start out taking a tenth off. It's going to do tenth. 10th inch steps and the final thickness is going to be negative 0.2 so boom there it is so now you have two options this is to touch the head to the table and that'll set the z height or if we had material we would touch it to the material if we were trying to mill it to a certain height 
So for this, we're going to go ahead and touch it to the table. So I click that. So right now, the encoder is spinning up, and eventually we'll see the head drop down and touch to the table. And we'll give it just a sec here. There she goes. So what we're doing is we're setting a, basically we're setting it at zero. So if we come over to the screen, our calibration position, that's currently at zero. So that's what we just set. So let's go over our parameters. So the first step, because we're going to mill this table down in steps, we're going to take off a tenth of an inch. You could take off an eighth. I wouldn't dial it up and go to like a quarter. It seems like you just tear up the table that way. So in steps, we're going to take off, oh, I want this actually to be... Point 0.1. So we're going to take off a tenth per pass until we get to point 0.2. So a little under a quarter of an inch is what we're going to mill off of this table. And uh, we'll see if that's enough. Hopefully it is. If not, we'll do it again. So RPMs on the head, I've got this set at 400 RPMs. Uh, the speed of the calibration of the machine, that's at 100. That's 100, um, 100 inches per minute. So that's like not super fast, but not super slow either. Uh, we could dial that up, and we'll just throttle it down if we need to. Oh, too large. Let's try 200. Yep. All right, 100. 100 it is. Our step, 6-inch steps, so it's going to make a cut, step over 6 inches, make another cut. That's fine. Uh, beyond that, everything should be like this. Those parameters are good. I'm comfortable with those. So we're just going to start this thing up. We're going to hit the start button, bottom left-hand corner. And uh, it'll start. Boom, there it is. All right, and when you're milling the table, just watch your eyes. It's going to be slinging cement. And, um, you know, for me, usually I recommend wearing safety glasses or just walking away and not being around the machine when it's running. So we'll kind of see how she goes. There it is. So that's our first pass. And she's starting to mill. There it is. Awesome. I'll take this from here. Cool. Thank you. guys we just finished milling the table down so let me try to show you that so it's nice and smooth I'm gonna rinse it off and uh, we are off to the races over here so uh, if you have any questions feel free to get at me in the comments DM me whatever but um, anyways thanks like comment subscribe thanks for watching have a good day